For years, I've heard figure skaters talk about the frustration of being a figure skater in high school because their sport isn't often recognized as a sport by their school. What if you could change that? Guess what? You can. U.S. Figure Skating actually has a program. Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will tell you all about the U.S. Figure Skating High School Skating Program. Similar to collegiate skating, the high school program offers skaters the opportunity to compete on a team for their school. Several states host high school series and a state final. Any high school team is also eligible to enter the U.S. Figure Skating National High School Cyber Challenges or sectional high school finals. This is an excellent opportunity for high school skaters to build friendships and experience a team approach to what is otherwise often an individual sport. It's also a great way to develop valuable leadership skills by managing and running aspects of a team, including working with your school administration, event and travel planning, recruiting members, and more, all while continuing your involvement in skating and competing in fun, affordable events. High school skating can even be a varsity sport if you receive recognition and support from your individual high school athletic department. You'll have to reach out to your school district for more information on how to do that. U.S. Figure Skating also offers a graduating seniors program that can support skater recognition within high school banquets or club acknowledgements. Plus, you can compete on your local high school team and still compete as an individual at non-qualifying and qualifying U.S. figure skating competitions. So how do you get started with the high school skating team? You only need two skaters to start your team. Skaters can either represent a single school or a combination of several area schools. All skaters must be full-time students in grades nine through 12 per state guidelines. This includes both traditional and skaters that are homeschool students too. All participants must be eligible members in good standing of U.S. Figure Skating or Learn to Skate USA and may be members of the figure skating club of their choice or be individual members of U.S. Figure Skating. Skaters on a team may compete for their own school or a high school collaborative where athletes represent two or more area high schools and have combined to form a single team that includes homeschooled skaters but competitors may not represent more than one high school team simultaneously teams are called school affiliated clubs or sac to form an sac you are encouraged to first get approval from your school then complete the school affiliate clubs application with u.s figure skating there's a 31 dollar registration fee of course, additional fees may include competition fees, practice ice time, coaching fees, travel, and team apparel. Skaters may participate starting at Learn to Skate program basic level three all the way up through senior. Events offered within the high school competitions may include team maneuvers, low team, intermediate team, and high team, excel free skate, beginner, high beginner, pre-preliminary, preliminary, pre-juvenile, -preliminary, pre juvenile, intermediate, novice, junior, and senior. Compulsory, no test, pre-preliminary preliminary and pre-juvenile. Short program, juvenile, intermediate, novice, junior and senior. Showcase, light entertainment, dramatic entertainment, interpretive, duets and artistic. Solo dance, preliminary, juvenile, intermediate, novice, junior, senior, gold and international. For the standard event list and program requirements, visit Skater Journey Competing Overview on the U.S. Figure Skating Members Only site. Athletes must enter at the highest free skate test level passed as of the entry date. Or you may skate up one level. You are permitted to enter the free skate and short program at different levels. If skating up, would qualify you to do both. For team maneuvers, athletes may skate up one level, but you may not compete on a team at a lower level than the highest free skate test you have passed. The competition season runs October through April. The number of competitions will vary depending upon where you live, but the National High School Cyber Challenge will be held from January through March. And new for this year, U.S. Figure Skating is exploring the opportunity of holding sectional high school finals, which are tentatively scheduled for spring 2023. More information will be available soon regarding dates and the host sites. All registered teams will be eligible to participate in these events. Plus, you're permitted to attend high school competitions in other states, but 
Be careful with that because some states run competition series limited only to in-state teams. So you should check the competition announcement for specific eligibility requirements. Points are awarded to all skaters who compete. Junior and senior free skate and international dance earn two additional points per placement. In case of a tie, skaters will share available points. For example, competitors tied for first place in a group of 10 will each earn 11 points, 12 points for the first plus 10 points for the second. The number of athletes in an event will be based on competitors who actually skate at the competition. As of the recording of this video, there are competition series hosted in Michigan, Illinois, Wisconsin, Colorado, New England, and Ohio. I guess New England's the state now. If there are no competitions with high school events near you, you can host an independent, non-qualifying competition or you can request that a local competition at high school specific events to an existing non-qualifying competition. If you want more information, please reach out to Chloe Roberts at US Figure Skating. In addition, you must submit a sanction through the normal sanction application process. Remember to check high school under the program heading when submitting your sanction request. You may wonder if you must miss school to compete at these competitions. Athletes participating in these events are student athletes. Their education is of the highest priority in all decision-making matters. The program and new program development committee, along with the local organizing committee or LOC, are responsible for minimizing the days missed from school. I just found something really exciting. U.S. Figure Skating has added school absence letter request form that you can fill out if you do need to miss school for a competition. Before they added this form, I used to always send them a request if my skaters had a competition scheduled on a school day and they would always comply and send me a letter that the skater could submit to the school. But it's nice that now I don't have to wait for somebody to fill out a letter and there's a request form. This is located under high school skating in members only. A school will be permitted to indicate on its competition entry that a specific day conflicts with a religious observation so that when building the competition schedule, this will be communicated to the chief referee for their consideration. The request for consideration must be for the entire school, not just one individual skater and cannot be guaranteed. The no refund policy will still apply if a skater cannot be accommodated. Host clubs reserve the right to eliminate events if necessary to accommodate the amount of ice time available. If you live in an area where few eligible skaters are on a team, I encourage you to contact Chloe Roberts. She can assist you in either starting a program in your area or finding one that is closest to you so that you can participate. I'm really excited about this opportunity for all high school skaters. I would love to see this program develop and grow to make figure skating more accepted by high school athletic programs. So what do you think? Did you even know you could do this? Will you start a high school skating program at your school? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. And please give this video a like. That actually helps other people find the video. Also, please share it with anyone else that you think might be interested in this and just post it to your social media too. I post videos every week that can help you with your figure skating, your fitness, nutrition, and ultimately live a better life. So remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. This is Amy, happy skating. I will see you real soon. Thank you for watching, bye.